tricks. I'm going to give away one of my biggest self-defense techniques oh, right drum roll. now. Okay? This could literally save tons of people's lives. Those people are cowards. They're jackals. They want to attack easy prey. Right. You know, the old thing, wolf chases a rabbit, don't be a rabbit. Right, right, right. <laughs> okay? Yeah. The reason we also designed it this way is that if you go somewhere and you suspect there may be trouble, keep your eyes open, look around, uh, make noise. Now the bad guy's going to go, what are they doing with all Yeah. You know what? I'll wait for the next victim. Right. This is what I call one of the biggest deterrents. Walking straight up, confident, what? Yeah, I mean, the, the bad guy doesn't, he didn't, he doesn't have that in his game plan. You just won the fight. Right. If he doesn't attack you, you just won the fight. Yeah. It's comfortable. You don't have to squeeze hard like it's like one of these yeah. where you could lose it. I mean, you know, in big part of the ears is, and if I may be a little rude here, I hope you don't mind. Go for it. If a woman gets attacked, okay, there's a guy that's going to rape you. And he's laying on top of you on the floor. Excuse me, but what's this going to do? Not much. Okay. Yeah. He might even like it. Yeah. And again, if you don't have a good grip, you hit him in the head. Yeah. Yeah. The idea with this is now, he's laying on top of you. You stick it and twist. Yeah. Go in the ear and twist. Go in the eye, the nose, anywhere. Now, you're not going to kill him. You're not going to hurt him. Right. All it is about lighting up the nerve endings. And it makes space. And that then go, ah. And <clears throat> maybe, that, maybe that's all you need is to get out of there. Have you seen our instructional video want. on our... You know, it's excellent. I really, I put it on the valleymartialartsupply.com. Really? The keychain is under accessories. <laughs> if you go under the accessories, you go to the bottom, you'll see the video that wow. you have from your website. I hope you don't mind I borrowed it. No, no, I no. Really like it. Sharing's fun. So, so okay. great stuff. Cool. So, tell me this. This is Valley Martial Arts in North Hollywood, California. Yes. It's been around for as long as I can remember. 1976. Wow. That makes us like 30, I don't know, I'm lousy at math. <laughs> Bunch of years. <laughs> wow. So um, besides me being the most famous movie star that walks into your store, who else have you had come in here? Wow, that's a good question. We, we're rather, I would say we're really privileged position here. Anybody and everybody who's been anybody in the martial arts has been through here at one point or the other. Wow. We get stuntmen, we get actors, we get all kinds of people. There was one guy, for example, came in here one day, and he's looking around, he loves the place, and he's looking at this, he enjoys everything, he's asking all these, looking, he buys a stack of kung fu books. Once we have kung fu movies, do we have instructional videos? He's kind of, you know, kind of quirky and quick and really happy, happy-go-lucky guy, and he leaves. Comes back a few more times, we kind of recognize him, but we're not sure who he is. I get this phone call from one of the prop guys we know, and say, hey, I need to buy all the swords that you have up on the wall up there. Oh my, oh my gosh. And he said, buy them? Well, can we rent them? We'll, but we'll buy them if we have to. So no, you can rent. We'll do some rentals on a very limited basis. So they take every single sword that goes up there. And he goes, what's going on with these things? He says, well, we're going to use them in a movie. Next thing I know, I get paid for the rental of the whole thing. They were the Hattori Hanzo swords in Kill Bill. Oh, no. Apparently, and then I said, wait, what, how'd you get these? Out? Oh, Quentin loves your store. He loves it when he comes oh, in. Quentin. And we're like, <laughs> who is he? I don't know who he is. Get, apparently, he's that guy that was coming in here and just buying stuff before they moved to Texas. Oh, Quentin Tarantino. So, I did From Dust Till Dawn with okay. him. He is quirky. So, and they yeah. come in here. We get a lot of people in here. You see, in this store, everybody is just people. We yeah. don't, we really don't care who people are. Yeah. You're people in here. It doesn't matter. Cool. And you sell everything from clothes to to swords? Uniforms, books, videos. We specialize in real weaponry. Japanese, Filipino, Chinese, you know, cool. Japanese katanas. We specialize in real weapons. Thank you so much, Raphael. My, My little star.